Did, did you, uh, when you're talking to these people, and is there a sense that, do you worry about making people who are actually quite dodgy, and you know, like the, the Nazi and there's a black nationalist, you know, by sort of finding the humor in them, you know, the, the black nationalists who claim that Beethoven was black, it sort of slightly deflects from some of the more extremity of their views. Were you ever uncomfortable about the fact that you were making these people jokers when actually they were dangerous? You know, um, I think it's a, it's a legitimate thing to be concerned about, and I think it's something you just sort of feel your way on. And it sort of goes back to something I was saying a little earlier about the, if they, if they seem sort of kind of um, insignificant, or maybe that's not the right word, but if there's a sense in which they're not powerful people, if you've got an interview with Tony Blair or, or Barack Obama or someone who really wields clout, or not even at that level, but lower down, then you have a responsibility to hold the, their feet to the fire about, you know, to be Jeremy Paxman or, or whoever else. But if it's someone uh, who's, who's actually, on the face of it, quite risible, you know, the neo-Nazi I talked to in, the, in, in Aryan Nations was talking about, he was a big fan of, are you being served? <laughs> and so I thought that was, just that on the face of it was quite amusing and strange. You know, because I'd been a fan of that as well, but I just didn't see why he was saying that to me. You know, I thought, well, why aren't you supposed to be talking about being a neo-Nazi? And then I thought, you know, actually, isn't the main character on Are You Being Served, Mr. Humphreys, this flamboyantly camp uh, character, who says, I'm free. And I said, well, what, about, what do you think about Mr. Humphreys? And he, he said, well, chuck that part. I think he's disgusting. And, and then it became a strange sort of reflexive form. He said it that camp as well. Yeah, he taught, said it in a slightly camp way. I said, well, you like the show, but you say you don't like Mr. Humphreys. He goes, they stick that in to pander to the Jews, or something like that. <laughs> And then I thought, you know, that in a way, I think he, ex you know, you don't have to go Paxman on a character like that. He's sort of shown himself up, hasn't he? <laughs> you've revisited, or you've, you know, the, the, the extreme far right, you've done more than once in terms of tackling them. What's, what's the interest? Um, OK, yeah, that is an interesting one. <laughs> I think, really, OK, I think there's maybe like a little right wing, far right wing guy inside us all, maybe. You know, as scary as that is to admit. I mean, I think of myself as being, quite liberal. You know, when I meet these right-wing characters, you know, it's very hard to make a film about, about liberal people. Even left-wing extremists are quite hard to make films. You know, we've went <laughs> round and round about animal rights or environmental activists. They're quite boring when it comes yeah. down to it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've sort of thought over, you know, we've done Nazis, we've done like right-wing patriots and survivalists, you know, I've done end of the world, like religious right-wing, all this kind of thing. But we've got to do some like communists or something. But you do, every time you sort of start to examine it, you just think, this isn't, no one's going to tune in for this. It's just hard to get engaged with. Is there something that you sort of feel that you kind of almost admire about how liberated they are to just say completely un, you know, unspeakable things and be so blatant about it? Well, yeah, absolutely. And I do think that um, a big part, you know, in all the documentaries, in a sense, I'm the straight man to someone who's coming out with some wild stuff. And um, if the wild stuff is sort of the, the taboo or the forbidden, then, then all the better. And I actually think, um, you know, it's a dangerous line to walk, and we always have to be aware that, while, you know, while giving the, the sort of, the, you know, the, the mic, as it were, to uh, extremists, that, you know, uh, is it, sort of exciting and funny, and then you have to sort of make sure that it doesn't go too far in that direction, and that that's why I'm always aware when I go out there that I have to sort of uh, challenge those people, and that we also, when we shape the documentary, it feels like a... It feels like a balanced piece. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. So if I told you I was Jewish, would that create a problem between us? Well, because you've got the camera right now, I'd allow you to stay. If not, I'd probably kick your ass and put you in the street somewhere. For real? Pretty much, because a Jew wouldn't be here on my property. Are you Jewish? Do you mind if I don't no. answer that? <laughs> you heard the camera. Are That's not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying yes or no. So you're on the fence. <laughs> right? You're on the, you're on the yeah. fence. I, I tell you why, I don't want, I, I, I'm not a racist. And, and I don't, I think it's, I actually think it's wrong to be a racist. And so I feel as though by, um, you know, by saying whether I'm Jewish or not, I'm kind of, in a way, acknowledging a, the premise that it really matters when I think it shouldn't and it doesn't. As the afternoon passed, I could almost have convinced myself that I was feeling relaxed. But something was still bothering Skip. How about that? 
Louis is a Jew. We already know it. I already know it. You're a Jew. That's why you got so much animosity. Well, we, okay. That's why you we have can't so much say you don't look like a Jew. Wait. Oh. You're a Jew. You're, you're part Jewish. And don't, don't not say I'm not because you think somebody's going to beat you up because it's not like that with us. Uh, uh, sometimes people assume I'm Jewish. So going into the film, we decided that I was not going to say whether I was Jewish or not. Um, partly as a principle, and to be honest, partly because I knew it would wind up the, the skinheads. <laughs> that if they thought I was Jewish, that they would, um, there was likely to be a tension there. And at the minute I said I'm not Jewish, the tension would go, and um, some of the, you know, some of the sort of drama would, would go out of the film.